everybody. Here I am. Here I am in the basement, just waiting for everybody to see if anybody tunes in tonight. I'm down here avoiding the kitchen where all the carbs live. <laughs> like inspirational shirt this week is all about mind over matter <laughs> mind over matter and staying in the basement right and avoiding like avoiding the kitchen <laughs> avoiding the kitchen my daughter sat on my lap and ate ice cream and I was like be strong be strong be strong be strong anyway so You've all tuned in to uh, hear like, what am I thinking? Who gives up all the carbs? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking like, I would never do that. I love pizza too much. I love tacos too much. I could never, I could just never, I could never. Well, so yeah, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you've noticed some posts lately about my carb-free week, how I haven't been like no potatoes, no french fries, no pizza, no bread, you know, no rice, no nothing. Um, and I, so I thought I'd come on here and just let you know that my, I, my mental state is good. I am not, I'm not crazy um, for giving up carbs. And, um, it's just for a week. Um, and I, I wanted to talk to you about why I made that choice, right? Um, but first, let me tell you what it's not. Here's, what, here's what's not happening. Um, this is not a low carb diet. Um, even this week without eating any carbs, only getting my carbs from fruits and veggies, I'm still getting like 30% of my calories from carbs. So that's not really a low carb diet. It's also not a ketosis diet. Those are um, a bit of a rage these days. Um, a ketosis diet only has like 10% carbs. Um, and people also reduce their protein intake when they're doing a ketosis diet. And I am not doing that. I am struggling to eat all the protein that I can every day. Um, and in a ketosis diet, people do that because it's thought to, you know, force your body to use up your fat stores. But um, at 30% carbs and eating more protein than I, I can shake a stick at, that is, that is not what I'm doing. Also, this is not paleo. I have tried kind of a modified paleo diet in the past. Um, but in this case, I can still have dairy, so like, yay for cheese. Um, also, this is not permanent. <laughs> this is not permanent. Um, you know, I'm regularly like gluten-free, right? I don't eat the gluten because it, it messes with um, some chronic, you know, issues that I have. Um, but I'm going to go back to eating the other carbs when this week is over. So I'll go back to the sweet potatoes and... Um, quinoa and, uh, you know, probably the occasional gluten-free donut at uh, the Linden Street Cafe when I go there to get a break from my office and work, right? Um, and so what is this, right? Like what's, well, you know, why I do this, right? So I mean, most, so most of the time I post a lot of food pictures. So if you, if you know me at all, you know, I love to eat. I love to eat. I love food. I'm a former chef. I love to cook. Um, I love I love exploring food. I'm absolutely a, a foodie. Um, you know, and and living, you know, eating to live is kind of how I have been living, you know, how I live my life most of the time. But this three week you know, nutrition challenge where I've been gradually reducing my carbs down to this week where I'm totally eliminating them, combined with this physical challenge of doing these progressively harder workouts over this three-week program. It's just that. It's a challenge. Um, I like a challenge. Challenges, you know, challenges are fun. Um, I love a challenge almost as much as I love carbs. Um, I love knowing that I can do hard things and I like reminding myself sometimes that I can do hard things and Laura honestly Laura come to your house you hate to cook I would like that is my dream job would be like to be an in-home professional chef if I could do it I would do it <laughs> um, 
Anyway, yeah, so I love a challenge, right? I love knowing I can do hard things. Um, it helps me to grow. It makes me stronger to know, to put myself up to a challenge and then, you know, take it on. Um, and in these three weeks also, I have been working with this brand new community of women um, who have all chosen to do something hard in their lives. They've chosen to take on exercise and nutrition in a way that they haven't before. Um, they have recommitted to their health and their fitness. Um, and, and they are changing their lives one day at a time. And when we started three weeks ago, I promised them that I would never ask them to do anything that I wasn't willing to do myself. So I had to find myself a challenge as well. And, you know, together we are getting stronger. Um, and I have to tell you, like, amazingly, you know, you would think that this has been like a serious drag and like, that I would be, Ugh, I can't, you know, all the cravings all the time. But I have to tell you, it has not been that way. Um, being carb free has been freeing. It has helped me to let go of cravings for sweets and comfort foods that really, they're not serving me. They're not serving me well. Um, it has strengthened my resolve to live a healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, each time I pass on the pizza and pass on the fries, which my family, by the way, totally eats in front of me. Um, like totally, like the kids had fries, they all had fries yesterday and uh, I all had pizza today and like, the kids eat ice cream, like nobody cares. They're uh, nobody cares. <laughs> Mom, just mom's doing a weird thing, whatever. Um, and you know, I really do, I feel better when I focus on eating whole clean foods, cut out the processed junk and really like eat to live instead of living to eat. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'll be, um, if you're thinking about this or whatever, even if you're not, you're just curious to stalk my life, I will be posting um, some recipes later this week and uh, kind of what a day in the carb-free life looks like. Uh, so I hope you tune back in here on Facebook for all of that delicious carb-free goodness. All right, everybody, have a great night out there in Facebook land. We'll see ya.